Sir Francis Bacon lived in the late 1500s, early 1600s, was a high profile courtier in the court of the first Queen Elizabeth. Believed by many, including myself, to have been the real author of the Shakespeare works. And my two books on that topic, published in 2020, in those books I have um, described how I have come to the conclusion that Sir Francis Bacon was the real Shakespeare. And Sir Francis Bacon, also believed by many in esoteric circles, to have been the reincarnation of Saint Germain, the wonder man of Europe in the 1700s. The wonder man who bedazzled and intrigued kings, emperors, statesmen, aristocracy right across Europe. And why? Because of his ability to appear and disappear at will, because of his prowess at horsemanship and swordsmanship, because of his gift as a musician with many instruments, because of his ability to speak so many languages, because of his expertise and knowledge in science and alchemy. He was referred to as the man who knew everything. And he appeared out of nowhere and disappeared into nowhere. The wonder man of Europe, Sir Francis Bacon. And why am I posting this now? Why Francis Bacon? Because it was that same Francis Bacon who wrote the words, in order to be commanded, nature must be obeyed. And the meaning of that is, very simply, we need to inhabit and embrace the natural cosmic energies that come to us in the changing cycles, in the changing seasons, in the changing solstices, in the changing equinoxes, in the natural cycle of the year. And that is the theme of my latest book, Ancient Ancestors Calling. We have been fed an unnatural diet of gross materialism, gross commercialization, greed, desire for more and more and then some, and we have been victims of fear. We need to reconnect. If humanity has any chance of surviving as a species, we need to reconnect and we need to start utilising and harnessing the natural cosmic energies that come to us. As Francis Bacon said, to be commanded, nature must be obeyed. Thank you for watching and Namaste.